It was a day that the world stood still. Ronald Reagan, the 40th president of the United States, shot and wounded as he was leaving the Washington Hilton Hotel downtown. Reagan's Secret Service codename, Rawhide. This is the way it played out on the police radio. Shot fired, Rawhide is okay. Thank you. We want to go to the emergency room of George Washington. At the hospital, Reagan told his wife, Nancy, Sorry, honey, I forgot to duck. Reagan spent about 11 days in that hospital before being released. Now, 40 years later, the Secret Service displays a replica of the gun used and bulletproof glass from that limo. The glass the round hit before it ricocheted into the president's chest, breaking a rib and puncturing a lung. Del Quinton Wilbur knows all the details. He wrote the book. Rawhide down. The people don't understand how dramatic the day really was. They don't understand that the president's life hung in the balance of an inch, a split second decision, and, and, and a split second itself. The, the president's life, if not for the heroic actions of the Secret Service agents at the scene and the doctors and the nurses at GW Hospital, he would have died. Charged in the case would be assassin John Hinckley, a college dropout failed songwriter with a pretend girlfriend. Hinckley, they say, wanted to kill the president and gain fame to impress actress Jodie Foster. They say he was obsessed with Foster and watched her movie Taxi Driver 15 times. Hinckley found not guilty by reason of insanity and spent a number of years in treatment at St. Elizabeth's. He was released in 2016. Back at that Hilton Hotel, a plaque commemorating what happened there that March 30th day, 1981, the day Ronald Reagan was shot. I'm Pat Collins, News for Washington. A D.C. police officer and a Secret Service agent were wounded in that shooting, also hit in the head. Jim Brady, the president's press spokesman, he suffered brain damage and was permanently disabled and looking he, back at that video yeah. how many times did we see it those days that he remained in the hospital but that day and, i can remember it george, going back and forth he's fine no an inch either way and, and george washington university hospital i mean that was sort of became the center of the universe and uh, james brady and his wife they right. they became gun control advocates and uh, he Sarah he brady. actually was uh, had a had a, a good life. He was very active, and, and you saw him a great deal uh, around town. Uh, of course, he passed away um, a in long 2014. Life after that. Yes, You're he right. did. He did. Yeah. But wow, 40 Just years. I, it's hard to digest. Yeah. That much time has really passed, and we are that old now. My God. Yeah.